Hello, Namaste. How are you all today? Okay. Today's video is about embellishment or I would rather say complementary embellishment. But before I explain what is complementary embellishment, let me inform that this type of uh, intricate embellishment, strokes, filler elements was requested by Neha and uh, many more passionate artists like her. Let me inform you that this video is intended for uh, beginners but it could be helpful to experts also because it will share my ideas how I use basic elements in my design. Hmm. So what is complementary embellishment? Um, it is like two elements goes together and complement each other. So it could be contrast in size, shades, layout or anything like that. All types of filler elements actually being used to give intricacy to any design. And uh, it is mostly used in intricate uh, bridal mandi. Or it could be used in borders, motifs or to fill empty gaps in between the design. Or wherever your imagination and crea creativity take you with your experiments with designs. Before I start the demonstration of assembling all embellishment, let me show you roughly which embellishments I am going to demonstrate here. But listen, I have suggestion here. First watch entire video, then practice only embellishments, then practice with me again the way I am doing here. And with consecutive practices, use your imag imaginations and trust me, you will surprise yourself. In this demonstration, I am going to use uh, this type of simple 5 petals flower. Swirl. Paisleys and circle. Oh, sorry, I forgot to draw a circle here. My mistake. Okay, never mind. Okay, these are solid elements, or you can say big chunk of elements. And to complement these elements, I'm using zigzag lines or curvy lines in lighter shades with minimal pressure on cone, or can use solid lines also if required. These are this type of zigzag lines but with small zigzag. Then small checks that also can be used with lighter shades or darker shades. And my favorite swirls and same here either lighter or darker in shades. And last but not least, shaded curves. So let's start assembling them. Okay, I have drawn layout design so it could give you better understanding about uh, overall look. First I am drawing a simple 5 petals flower. And giving it outline now now that is uh, optional or say it's your wish and with that I'm using not so light swirls because here flower I use is not very solid in color so I can use uh, solid swirls also here but swirls congested look will complement empty petal flower Now let's see same combination but in other variation. I am showing you to give you idea how many variation you can come up with. So here I am using solid petal flower with light shaded swirls. Uh, so here we have contrast in color.
now same time you can use empty petal flower also with it if you have a bigger uh, border to fill in Next I am using solid big swirls with light shades uh, zigzag lines. So arrange uh, swirls randomly according to your wish and now fill empty spaces with zigzag lines. Now here I would like to give you one tip to get perfection. Um, can you see not so neatly finished end of these zigzag lines? Now we have to cover them. So what will we do? We will use oval line or in graphics design language we call it a stroke line. So here we will stroke those uh, swirls from outer side. So as end product we will get neat edges of those zigzag lines. Basically, we cover them under stroke lines. Next, I am using circles and small checks. And here also use random circles and not um, and fill gaps with small check. I'm really sorry for this uh, breaking lines, but uh, I'm using old mehndi cone today, so I cannot waste mehndi. So please bear with me. I'm really sorry for that. Now again here we will have those untidy end lines near circles. Here also we will use strokes lines. And again here we will stroke outside the circles. Now remember one thing, giving stroke lines outside the main object will create effect that will make main object look bigger. And if we use those stroke line inside the main object, then we will end up with smaller main object. So be careful with that. It's it's very tiny thing, but play very major role in many situation. How? Okay, wait, I will explain it in a while. Wait. Now here I am experimenting with various embellishments like uh, curls, small leaves, paisley and shaded curls. Look how nicely you can layer them. And this is only simple example I have used here. Thousands of variation you can come up with and create your own unique style. If you noticed, all artists have their own favorite embellishments. It's like their signature style. And however they try to change, but somewhere they end up using them. Or their embellishment becomes their signature. And the moment you see them, you understand who could be the artist. Now here I have tried to show you um, how easily you can draw paisleys. Okay, first draw C and give drop strokes inside. And here you go, your beautiful paisleys in front of you. And before you realize you are mastered the art of drawing this 
tiny baby paisleys. Now the elements I decided to show you has finished, but I cannot leave this design halfway. So I'm itching to finish this by showing you few variation using these elements. This will give you idea in which other way you can combine these elements and in which types of motifs you can use them. Now only few minutes back I told you that it's very important to give attention to stroke line, right? So see here, where I have drawn this half circle next to each other, leaving little space in between. Now what will happen if I draw stroke line outside the main line? Yes, you are right. Two circles will end up joining each other for party. <laughs> okay, but now it depends on your wish. Because here you can do that and it won't ruin things much but in some cases it can ruin the beautiful motif you have drawn and here if you wish to keep them apart you can smartly do that like I did half stroke line inside and half stroke line outside you can do various layer design and same elements you can use in fingers also here I would really like to give my suggestion if you find it's worthy then follow and put in practice because I am sharing my own experiences here. If you are absolute beginner, then pick up 5 to 6 basic elements and keep practicing them till you yourself feel contented with your own work. Main concentrate on neatness and clarity of lines. Keep practicing constantly because if your lines are neat and clean, your work will look beautiful even though your design is very simple. Trust me, people get attracted to neat and clear work. You can trust me on that. Once you master those 5-6 elements, then experiment with few new elements and keep doing that. You will improve very fast. And remember one thing. People can guide you, but no one can teach you anything. Because unless until you want, then only you can learn yourself using those guidance. You can see this is a complete design. Now I show you one thing. The additional frills can bring the change. Ta-da! This is the complete makeover. You can compare uh, before and after design. The simple frills brought so much beauty in this simple design. So on that note, bye for now. Till next time, see you. Bye-bye.